let's do the tier list. I think it's about time to get the tier list rolling. So for the tier list for today, guys, let me pull up the phone or pull up the chat on my phone. Pull up the phone on my chat so I can monitor the phone while we chat on the phone and chat with the with the phone in the chat. So for today's tier list, I mentioned this in yesterday's stream or maybe the stream prior, but I do want to rank all of the Golden Lloyds now that we have a large, pretty large collection of Golden Lloyds, I'd say. Probably way too many than, you know, what, what's usually required, but Golden Lloyds galore here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Golden Lloyds to rank on the tier list here. Now, just for... A little bit of a of a of a of a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, I decided against putting like uh, some of the other Golden Lloyds on this list. For example, the Spinjitzu Slam is it the Spinjitzu Slam Golden Lloyd? It's golden, you know, but that doesn't really count as a Golden Lloyd to me, so that's why that's not here. And same deal with like Avatar Lloyd. Avatar Lloyd does have gold on him. But there's also a lot of other Lloyds that have gold on him as well, like the uh, 2012 Kimono Lloyd, or 2013, depending on what you want to say. So, uh, just for simplicity, these are the only Golden Lloyds that we're going to be ranking right here, and we have the original, the three Legacies, the Legacy 10th Anniversary, the Oni Lloyd, and the new 2023 Core Lloyd. Uh, why don't we begin with this guy, the original A tier, obviously. Uh, this is my favorite Ninjaga minifigure of all time. I just love how awesome he is. Very simplistic printing, but very elegant and beautiful printing as well, I'd say. And also, that face print is pretty nice. Doesn't really look like Lloyd, you know, obviously, but it's good enough. Um, also, what's great about this figure is that it's cheap and you can find it pretty easily on Bricklink, eBay, all those secondhand sites, because it comes in a pretty large uh, quantity of sets. Uh, two of the original Final Battle sets, and I believe a LEGO Dimensions pack. Anywho, moving on to the second Golden Lloyd. Kind of crazy how big of a gap there is in between this Golden Lloyd and that Golden Lloyd, but this was the original Legacy Golden Lloyd. No shoulder armor, uh, traditional golden face. I will say for this one, um, maybe... Mm, you know what? I'm gonna say C tier, and here's why. C tier compared to the other Golden Lloyds out there. I really like the printing on this guy. I love the mask. I love that face. But other minifigures in Legacy would go on to make this figure infinitely better, dare I say. So compared to the other Golden Lloyds out there, I'd say C tier for this guy. Not that there's anything wrong with this one, you know? There's certainly not anything remotely wrong with this printing. I love how this looks. I just think the other minifigures in this, uh, in this lineup do that design design a lot more justice. In fact, this guy right here is a little bit better, I will say. B tier for this guy, which is the exact same figure except it has shoulder armor, which in my opinion makes a world of difference. I love the shoulder armor on this guy. I think he looks amazing like this. Um, but this guy down here, this version of Legacy Lloyd, let's just rank all of them right away. I'll say A tier for this guy, just because I love how it has the traditional Lloyd face. Kind of harkens back to those days of the final battle in the show where they, you know, had the actual Lloyd face and not like the golden face, if that makes sense. This one actually has the traditional Lloyd face as opposed to the golden one. So I'll say A tier for this guy just because it's trying somewhat to be show accurate and it improves on this design, which in turn improves on this design. So in terms of this evolution, it goes this one, this one, and then that one in terms of like how I would rank them. So C tier, B tier, and A tier, each one of the Legacy 1 Lloyds just, uh, just got progressively better as they went along, in my opinion, of course. Just my humble opinion. Now, moving on to the 10th anniversary Legacy Lloyd. Here's what I think about this guy. I feel like this guy would have been a lot better if he had some type of mask. I'm not sure why they just didn't include a mask on this guy. With that being said, though, I will say... Uh, I'll, I'll say B tier overall for this guy. But I'll put him above this Legacy Lloyd. I like the 10th Anniversary Lloyd. I just wish he had some type of mask. I personally have mine displayed with a green half mask just because I think just because I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, but in terms of like the printing, it looks pretty good. The legs are obviously the same as the other Golden Ninja, so that kind of makes it lose a little bit of uh, a little bit of points for me. But I do like the headband. I just wish it had a mask. That's honestly my only real problem with this figure. No mask equals big sad from me. But I do like the torso printing. 
Pretty good torso printing. Love the ZX shoulder armor making a comeback. I'll say B tier. Ideally, uh, it would have a golden half mask, but we all know LEGO won't make those for some odd reason. I just feel like it's because that piece would be way too brittle uh, to actually have as like a realistic part, if that makes sense. So I feel like a green mask would have been better with, with uh, better than anything or better than nothing here. I wonder why they didn't include a green half mask. Moving on to the golden... Oni Lloyd. This one's kind of hard to rank because I like the design. Uh, thank you, Diane, for subscribing. I like the design, but the show design is just so much better, and honestly, it kind of makes me hate the minifigure. I do like it, though. I don't want to put it in like D or F, so I think I'll put it in C, to be honest with you. Um, I think I'll leave it right there. I think that's my ranking. I like this figure. I like the mask. I like the uh, the torso print. I like the armor. I like the leg printing. I just think the show design is so much better, and I can't really look at this minifigure the same way. After seeing what the show did to the design, and what the minifigure failed to do to keep up with the show, <laughs> you know? I'll say C tier for Oni Lloyd. Um, if it had four arms, that would have been awesome. I think the figure is cool, guys. I just don't really feel like I can put it in the higher tiers. I, I I just don't think I'm able to do that. I don't feel right putting it in the A or the B tier. For the sake of this tier list, we'll just give him the C tier. And finally, for the final Golden Lloyd here, we have the new 2023 Ninjago Core Golden Lloyd. And honestly, I don't mind this guy all that much. I think that he is just kind of average, though. So maybe we'll put him in the C tier. I'll probably put him above this one, though. Here's my thoughts with this Golden Lloyd, right? Just from looking at the picture. I don't actually have this figure in hand just yet. This will be coming tomorrow with the rest of my Ninjago Core stuff. Uh, but I do really like the torso print. I think that looks good. I love the green hands. I think that provides an awesome twist on the traditional Golden Lloyd design. Green hands looks really good with this rendition of Golden Lloyd. So I'll say C tier for this guy. Probably better than these two, in my opinion. Um, Golden Core 2023 Lloyd. Whatever you want to call him, I think he looks pretty sweet, all things considered. But obviously not as great as some of these other guys. And I I think that will just about do it for my Golden Lloyd tier list. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm surprised that we have a lot of Golden Lloyds. I'm not really sure why we have so many. Um, it's amazing uh, to me to think that we have these uh, this many Golden Lloyds, and a lot of them are pretty much just the same thing, just with uh, different armor, or different face. But hey, that technically makes it a different figure, so I guess we'll call it good from there.